Yo, it to go really see to back with the video, man. Back with a dead one, bro. In my new place, you know what I'm saying? We just, my, me and my mom, we just got this place about a couple months ago. You know what I'm saying? Around April. Some money, some money in my account. I lump, I lump, I lump some of my money that I never had in my life. <coughs> I don't want to say the amount on here. Sorry, y'all. I got kind of a summer cold. I spray some fucking bug spray. And motherfucking... I guess that shit got me, my side is kind of messed up, you know what I'm saying? I feel regular, but it's just my nose and shit just stuffy. But listen, I made this video to tell y'all that I ain't gonna be, you know what I'm saying? I know I, ain't, I know I ain't been on here for a while, and I'm not gonna be on here as much, you feel me? Because I'm on a mission, you feel me? But I'm, 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 I'm making this video to uh, let y'all know that... <coughs> Nobody's perfect, you know what I'm saying? And I've been going through some shit behind the scenes that I don't be telling nobody. And uh, it be a lot of shit that I be going through within, you know, my spiritual level. I don't even talk to my mom about this shit. I don't talk to nobody about this shit. I just deal with this shit on my own. So it's this sexual demon that's been attacking me ever since I had my shroom trip, okay? Now, y'all remember I dropped that video. Hold on. Okay, y'all yeah, remember I dropped that video about my shroom trip, how, how how fun it was, how how you know what I'm saying? I had a good time. Like I had a, a my like when I was taking shrooms, I felt so alive, you know what I'm saying? And I felt so pure to the point, nigga. I ain't thinking about the past or the future. You feel? That shit didn't matter to me. I was just in like the whole time I was on shrooms, I was just in a present moment, bro. Enjoying myself, laughing, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't tripping by myself either. But but I'm making this video to let y'all know that I found out that shrooms can actually cure, you know what I'm saying, a certain parts of your brain that's been messed up around your childhood. So for instance, me, I had I had a part I had a problem with porn or jacking or or premature ejaculation ever since I was I'd say twelve years old or eleven. When I was around 12 or 11, that's when I discovered porn, and that's when I started discovering that masturbation, you feel me? And ever since then, I've been battling that demon ever since then. But when I turned 17, and I met me a girl, you know what I'm saying? It, it kept me, she kept me away from that shit, you know what I'm saying? Because this girl, I really liked her, you know what I'm saying? And we spent time together, and, and, and us, you know what I'm saying, being together, kept me away from this shit. So at the time, my brain was reprogramming itself out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't stay, I ain't stay with her long enough to to completely get out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because because as soon as she, as soon as we broke up, as soon as we left each other, nigga, I'm back on the same shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn. <clears throat> but but when I found shrooms, shrooms helped me realize, like, damn, I'm actually, I actually, like, everything that I do, nigga, I actually do this shit to myself. You know what I'm saying? Everything that y'all go through, everything, that, no matter if it's good or bad, nigga, you put that shit through yourself, you manifest that for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because all you doing is just get up and just doing shit every day. Like, nigga, you don't have to get up and get out the bed, nigga. You can stay in your house all day and not worry about nobody, not bother nobody, and you and you, and you, and you completely stay out of bullshit all day. But if you a nigga that like to get up, do shit, just expect some shit to happen because, nigga, you manifest throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? You manifest as you wake up in the morning. You feel what I'm saying? Manifestation happen every second of the fucking day. You feel me? And it's important for y'all to just focus on the moment and just focus on right now. You feel me? Me, I've been having I've been having problems focusing on it now. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's been hard for me. It's been hard for me because... This addiction, I mean, I, ain't, I don't call this an addiction because, because nigga, I did, I, I went without this shit. I went without porn for for over 40 days. That's the longest I ever went, you know what I'm saying? And now, I don't even, I don't even remember the last time I had a long, I don't even remember my long streak, you feel what I'm saying? And, I, and, I, and I'm letting y'all know that I finna start microdosing shrooms. Now, if you don't know what microdosing shrooms is, it's basically when you take about three or five grams and you take and you take that shit for one day and then and then you let that shit raw wear off for a couple of days and then you take them again 
So me, I'm finna start taking shrooms like day by day. Like, I ain't gonna say day by day, but uh, day after the other day, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start taking shrooms day after the other day. And I'm gonna see how, how I'm gonna feel after that because because me personally, bro, I can I don't need that. I don't need shrooms because I did semen retention and I did have spiritual growth before I took shrooms. And y'all saw it on my old videos, you feel me? But after I took shrooms, I feel like I feel like I was backtracking. I feel like I was moving backwards. I feel like I was going back to my lower. So I feel like I was just backtracking like a motherfucker, you feel me? <clears throat> just because I ain't even felt that sensation I felt when I was on shroom. It's like it's like when you when you when you become sober off of shrooms, bro. He's like, damn, what what now? You feel what I'm saying? Like, damn, what now? <laughs> and then you realize like this whole world is just nothing but some bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? But but aside from that, I ain't saying to hate the world. Nah, I'm, I'm saying like y'all have to realize like no matter how hard your life gets, bro, y'all have to understand, bro. This 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 world is just. Fun. This world is just made for us to have fun, bro. Like, that's how I feel about this shit. But, <coughs> but now I'm currently on day one of semen retention. <coughs> I relapsed yesterday, and um, and uh, if if you got any solutions that help me, you know what I'm saying? Get, um, overcome this. Because it's been a it's been a it's been a huge battle I've been dealing with for a long ass time, and it usually came from it usually came from the shit I went through when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? From motherfuckers bullying me. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, my dad left. You know what I'm saying? The government took my father when I was two years old. It's, I've been through a lot of. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 nigga. I'm like I'm like the average Joe, bro. They, they came from the hood, bro. Daddy took it from him. Went through shit and through the system in school, you know what I'm saying? A white girl accused me of sexually assaulting her when I was around 11 to 12 years old. And I didn't, and, and, and then come to find out that I ain't even do shit to the white girl. I'm telling y'all, bro, this is some real shit that I've been through in my life, bro. Like, for real. <laughs> I don't just tell anybody this shit. I tell y'all because I know y'all fuck with me, you feel me? Especially the ones that always been there for me on my YouTube, bro. I know y'all fuck with me, bro. So I'm going to tell y'all my story. Basically, bro. Ever since I was a kid, ever since I was a baby, bro, I've been going through shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? From family shit, from fucking strangers, parents, all that shit, bro. And I'm and I'm and I'm here to let y'all know that, nigga, I'm finna change this whole, nigga, I'm finna change this whole motherfucking city I'm I'm in right now. You feel what I'm saying? And what city is that, nigga? This is Memphis, Tennessee. This is fucking South Memphis. This is this is the gutter, nigga. This is where I'm from, Memphis, Tennessee, bro. So, so with that being said, bro, I used to work at Walmart. You know, I quit that job. I mean, actually, they fired me because because I wouldn't come in at a certain time or. But, but I told them, bro. I was like, nigga, I'm moving in, in the new place. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna have time to be working every day. Cause they, cause they all, they always had me working every fucking day. You feel what I'm saying? Like six, seven days a week. And nigga, I ain't mind at first. You know what I'm saying? Cause nigga, I'm making my money. But nigga, I'm moving into my new place, y'all. See, I'm in right now. I'm moving into my new place. Got the we ain't even, we ain't even finished setting this shit up, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like nigga, like nigga, if I, if I, ain't, if, I ain't, if I ain't overcome anything else, nigga. Just know my bliss is coming, bro. You know what I'm saying? This this house right here is just our beginning. You feel me? Cause nigga, I was just living in my like that, like them videos y'all saw me in. Nigga, I was in my grandma house. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga, I was homeless, bro. Me and my mom were homeless, bro. We ain't had no place to stay. You know what I'm saying? And before I was in my grandma house, nigga, I was, we me and my mom we had our own we had our own place. You feel me? <clears throat> and nigga, we got kicked out of our place. You know what I'm saying? Everything, it's been a whole lot of bullshit ever since 2019, bro. You know what I'm saying? But this year, this is gonna be that year. This is gonna be that year. I'm telling y'all, bro. This year in 2022, this, bro, these two years are gonna be, gonna be, man, it's gonna be the best years of our life. 
if you if you aware of what's going on spiritually, you feel what I'm saying? It's gonna be the best. These two years are gonna be the best years of our life. You feel me? And um, and I ain't telling y'all, and, and I'm telling y'all right now, don't wait on nobody, don't depend on nobody for shit, bro. We gonna have to get up and do this shit on our own, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like me, like me, I'm not like like I told y'all, I'm not perfect. You feel me? I'm still battling. I'm still battling my demons to this day, bro. It's all good. You feel me? But. But it, it come a time where a nigga gotta be like, bro, I know if it's enough. Nigga, I gotta make a change before it's too late. Because, nigga, I could be 35 before I know it and I'ma still be having problems. Be my meat? Nigga, no. Nigga, no. I'm not finna be. No, nah, nigga. You niggas can be doing that shit, but no. Nigga, I don't wanna be a 35 year old nigga that's still working at a job and he still got problems with beating his meat, bro. Like, nah, bro, that shit lame as fuck to me. That's why I still come out here on YouTube to talk to y'all, bro. Because I expect better out of everybody, bro, that been through that been through hard times in their life, especially if you've been through hard times as a child, you feel me? I expect every grown person to go through some good shit and expect a lot of blessings, you know what I'm saying? If you've been through a lot of hell as a child, you feel me? And me, I've been through hell when I was a child, you know what I'm saying? My mama, she'll probably tell you the good shit, but nigga, I'ma tell you the bad shit, you know what I'm saying? My mama will probably make it seem like everything was perfect, but nigga, no, everything was not perfect. <laughs> My mama would say the good shit, I'll say the bad shit, because nigga, because <coughs> all I want niggas thinking that I'm just a little, I'm a little perfect ass child, you know what I mean? I had everything, like nigga, no. I, I been through shit too when I was a kid, nigga. Niggas bully me, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I developed a porn addiction when I, was, when I was around 11 years old. You know what I'm saying? I've been through a lot of shit. A white girl accused me of a fucking sexual charge that I ain't even do. Could have almost sent me to jail. Would have had a big ass charge on my life for the rest of my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? This shit, this shit is serious. <laughs> this life shit, this, this matrix gets serious. You feel me? Because it's be certain entities out there attack you. You know what I'm saying? And it's been entities been attacking me ever since I came into this motherfucker. You feel me? But they can't attack me now because, nigga, I'm growing. Y'all see it, nigga. I'm growing. I've been losing weight. You know what I'm saying? I cut my hair off. I feel better than ever now. You feel what I'm saying? And I can feel my growth. You feel me? But it's, it's that demon. You feel that? It's that demon. It's always that demon, nigga. But, nigga, you got to fight that motherfucker, though. You got to fight that motherfucker. If you don't fight that motherfucker, bro, you just going to be at the same position you was at first. You feel me? You just going to be at the same position you was at first, fool. So I'm, just, so I'm here to let y'all know, bro. Get y'all money. Get as much money as you can, bro. As much money as you can. As much money as you can. As much money as you can, nigga. Because, nigga, we got to get the fuck up out the Matrix, bro. Y'all need to invest into some shit. Y'all need to look into real estate. Y'all need to look into cryptocurrency. Y'all need to look into stocks, especially stocks. Y'all need to look into all this, all this shit. You feel me? Because this government gonna collapse this year. Of course, everybody know. You know what I'm saying? But, <clears throat> but I don't want y'all just sitting behind the internet all fucking day and just watching this shit and watching YouTubers and watching videos of this shit. Like, nah. Y'all need to get up. Get as much money as you can, bro. Get as much money as you can, much supplies as you can. Everything that you need, nigga, make sure you got it, you feel? Because, the, you know what I'm saying, and you already know our government gonna be playing hard this year. So, I'm just, I just wanna come over here and let y'all know, bro. I'm not perfect, bro. Nobody perfect on this fucking planet. Y'all, I'm making this video while I'm sick. I'm making this video after a day I relapse. Just to let y'all know, bro. Nobody's perfect in the end of the day, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even me. I'm not perfect, bro. I don't give a fuck how big your person is. I don't give a fuck, like, how much money this nigga got. <clears throat> Nobody's perfect emotionally, mentally. And within, when it comes to your soul, nigga, nobody's perfect, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. Nobody's perfect. In this world, and you get caught up so much in this world that... It make you think that you have to be perfect for certain shit. Like, nigga, I don't let semen intention control my life. You feel me? I still keep up with my days, though. I still keep up with my days. I still keep up with my days. But, nigga, I don't let semen intention control me. 
I still try to go as long as I can. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and I will, and, and nigga, I'ma still have, I'm, I'ma still have a YouTube video for y'all once I hit 200 plus days, bro. And y'all gonna see the glow, y'all, nigga. I'm already glowing, <laughs> but I'm just saying, y'all definitely gonna see the glow, nigga. <laughs> but, but the day that I, the day that I motherfucker hit 200 plus days without busting the nut, bro. It's the it's the, it's the, it's, the, it's the day where nigga y'all gonna see me on a whole nother level, bro. See, look, this is my this is my neighborhood right now. Y'all y'all probably you y'all usually see my car right there, but my mom going with my car right now. I got a I got a bro, I got a motherfucking Pontiac Torrent Golden Ferro Mobile Ferro Mobile nigga. You know what I'm saying? That whole running clean. That whole got 120 on the dash. It's an SUV. You know what I'm saying? We've been, I've been having that car. I've been driving that car ever since 2020. Like rapid, like to back and nobody was back and forth to get my money, no matter if it's anywhere. That car, like nigga, I'm blessed to have a car. I'm blessed to have a place now. That's all that I really that's all that I really manifested, you know what I'm saying, throughout 2020. And this and and y'all see. Y'all see. No matter how much I relapse, how, how many relapse videos I've been dropping on this on this channel, no matter how how hard no matter how much spiritual information that I give y'all, you know what I'm saying? I always, I always, bruh, I always said, nigga, nobody perfect, bruh. I always told y'all, nobody perfect in the end of the motherfucking day, bruh. Everybody go through something, everybody. You, you can meet the happiest couple, bruh. Later on down the line, them motherfuckers probably gonna, you know, bump, bump their heads, you feel me? And, it, and you know what I'm saying? It's just, this is how life works. This is how this life is, bruh. You always gotta expect. You always gotta expect the unexpected. You feel me? And nigga, I'm in my mindset now, nigga. I expect the unexpected. You feel me? Like nigga, I, I nigga, the unexpected is nigga. My mama could come in right now, and we and we end up bumping heads, or you know what I'm saying. Anything can happen, bro. That's why I be trying to tell niggas, bro. Niggas gotta stay educated, and niggas gotta stay ready at all motherfucking time. So if, if y'all know anybody that sells shrooms. Please comment below if y'all got anything y'all want to put me on to. Any advice y'all got? Any anything, bro? Y'all can tell me anything in the comments below. But I ain't done. I ain't done though. No. I ain't done. Right now I'm looking into real estate school. Right now I'm looking into stocks and uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, forex trading. Y'all need to get on forex trading too. You could trade gold, motherfucking silver on there. For, for if you got a, if you if you make a thousand plus dollars, you can probably make a lot of money off forex. You feel me? Like twice as much as you put in. You feel me? You just gotta do try. You gotta do training. You got you gotta really know what you're doing on that motherfucker. So so like I was saying, um, this whole 2020, 2021, uh, y'all gonna see me evolve. Y'all gonna see me and my mom. Uh, y'all probably gonna see a couple niggas around me. You know what I'm saying? Because I be having these visions that I'm gonna be a, a successful, rich ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? And my mom told me she had a dream that um she was fit, she was fitting me up for a suit. And plus she had a dream that she saw 50k around me. So nigga, I know that I'm good at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? Because everybody they become everybody that I know. They be coming to me every time, and they be saying they be seeing me. They be seeing me in dreams, but it don't be bad though. It be good, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be straight in the end of the day. I'm gonna be good. You feel? Me? I don't have to worry about shit. <clears throat> but one thing you do gotta worry about is your is your fucking soul growth, and nigga, and your, you got you gotta worry about this up here, your mind. Cause this right here, bro, this right here is your greatest asset, bro. Your mind, bro. Nigga, I know so much at 19, bro. It's ridiculous, bro. My head can explode right now. But this right here, bro, this gonna get you where you need to go, bro. Yo, here, bro. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. If y'all could reprogram y'all mind to do anything, you can reprogram your mind to motherfucking become successful because me, me, I'm still trying to reprogram my mind to do other shit than what I'm doing now. You feel me? I listen to 888 Hertz. I listen to, 
I listen to frequencies up there and I go to sleep with frequencies in my ear every time I go to sleep, bro. <clears throat> so I can reprogram my subconscious mind. See, look, the main thing about re reprogramming y'all subconscious mind is to really change your life, it's to really reprogram your life, you feel me? Because your subconscious mind is really controlling everything around you, you feel me? And, <clears throat> and me, I'm using I'm using my I'm using my subconscious mind to attract wealth, to attract abundance, to attract prosperity, to attract a lot of money in my life, to attract a lot of love in my life, to attract a lot of growth, a lot of individual growth, a lot of soul growth. That's that's what I'm tracking with my subconscious mind. Like nigga, the last time y'all saw me, bro, my face was probably a little fatter. Like nigga, I look like a, like nigga. If y'all look at my old videos, I look like a, a whole different nigga, bro. Like for real. Like I changed over over these past couple years, you feel what I'm saying? And if it, and if it weren't for spirituality, bro, I don't, I probably be I I'll probably be the same nigga that I was before. I mean, but I but I always been the same nigga ever since I was a kid, though. That's the crazy thing about it. But 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 your mind change as you grow. You feel me? You 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 just become more mature as you get older. That's all it is. So so nigga, I know I still got a long way to go. I'm I'm, I'm only 19. You feel what I'm saying? I turned 20 in motherfucking no November. And nigga, and nigga, my main goal at the age of 19 is to overcome my porn addiction, bro. That's my main goal and overcome a lot of shit that I've been putting myself through. That's that's my main goal that I want to achieve at 19. Because I don't want to be 20 years old. I don't want to be 30. I don't want to be 35. I don't want to be fucking 40. Be my meat, bro. I don't want to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause nigga, I want kids. I want kids. I want I want a genuine kid. I want genuine kids and a genuine wife. I will get a genuine kids and I will have genuine wives. You feel me? And I will be a genuine man. That's what I, that's 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 my that's what I'm manifesting. You feel me? Cause nigga, cause nigga, I look at it now. Like nigga, if I see this shit now at 19. Nigga, I'm def I definitely, I don't have no excuse when I when I turn 30, you feel me? Cause nigga, I saw this shit coming when I was 19. <clears throat> so I'm letting y'all know right now, this is the last straw, you know what I'm saying? I'm done being my meat, bro. I'm done, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be off social media. I'm just gonna go ghost, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just gonna really, really focus on myself. You know what I'm saying? Now some days I be getting bored, it be that boredingness and it be that loneliness. They be killing me, fool. Cause, cause I'm the type of nigga. I don't got too many friends, bro. Like I don't hang out with too many niggas. Niggas don't really be trying to hit me up here and hang out anyway. So I don't give a fuck. So nigga, I'm a loner, fool. Like I always been like this since I was a kid. I'm a loner, bro. If it want my, if it want, if it want my mama and my sister, it was just me. It was just me, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was just me. It was just me versus the system, bro. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> and I had to lie, and I had to go through a lot of shit by myself. You know what I'm saying? Just because that, just because you know what I'm saying? Me and my sister got a big ass age gap. You feel me? And we never had experiences in school together. You feel me? So I'm just letting y'all know right now. Ain't nothing wrong with being a loner, bro. Me. I know how to be alone, but after, but after a while, bro, after some shit that after some shit that I put myself through, I felt I, I started feeling like like damn, I want to have friends or damn, I don't even want to be alone. Like I like I started feeling like this shit, bro. I'm like what? Like nigga, I ain't feel like that in a while, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, when I was doing my spirit, when I when when I was doing that spiritual shit consistent, nigga. Nigga, when I was doing that spiritual shit consistently, bro, I will not worry about shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, I was exercising every day. I was eating healthy. Nigga, I was watching TV. By, nigga, I ain't give a fuck about nobody being my being nobody friend, bro. I ain't, I ain't give a fuck about being nobody friend, bro. So, nigga, the next time I post on here, bro, the next time I post on here, bro, I'm going to be I'm gonna be at 200 plus days on semen retention. I'm going to have a lot of money in my bank account. And... Y'all probably gonna see me in a new place. The next time, now I'm gonna say this again. The next time I post a video on YouTube, bro, nigga, I'm gonna have more 50K in my account. I'm gonna have a different look. Nigga, I'm probably gonna be in a different place. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be a whole different person when I come back on YouTube, bro. I'm probably going to be off this hoe for a while, you feel me? Probably for months and probably for years, you feel me? But this is my last video. I'm telling y'all, this is my last time telling y'all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm just taking a break from this shit. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Because this shit is toxic as fuck. This internet shit, this fucking Instagram shit, ever since this shit been invented, bro, this shit just toxic as fuck, bro. And me... I, I ain't realize it was toxic until, until I started realizing what it started doing in my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? It had me feeling like my, my energy was getting drained. Uh, I, it just felt like I, I be feeling low as fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I always had that willpower and that drive to keep going every time. I guess because I, I used to be a fight Like, nigga, when I was a kid, I used to fight a lot. So I had a lot of power, nigga. Nigga, when, so when a nigga made me mad, I always blacked out. I never argued with a nigga. I always blacked out, and I always like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga just made me mad. I'd be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so, me personally, bro, the person, my personality, yeah, bro. I'm not, I'm easy going. And I'm a chill dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm cordial. I keep it simple with your ass. Like, hey, how you doing? Good. You, you, you got what you need? All right, go. Yeah, that's how I am. You feel me? Easy going, cool ass nigga, bro. They tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? I probably won't tell you everything I know, nigga. But nigga, I'm going to let you know what's up. You feel me? So, so I'm just here to let y'all know, bro. Social media is toxic. Get the fuck off social media. And if you if you, and if you got a porn, if you got an ejaculation problem or a premature ejaculation problem, you need to get the fuck off of social media, bro. You need to delete that shit. You need to unfollow everybody that you see on there. You need to cut all that shit out completely because that shit gonna ruin your life, bro. This shit gonna ruin your life, and you gonna regret. And, and, and nigga, you probably gonna be thirty five one day, nigga. You gonna regret not doing that shit and not stopping being your meat. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's just like a cigarette smoker on them TVs. They be, them niggas be on TVs with hoes, with hoes in they fucking, in they fucking, uh, nicks. You know what I'm saying? Just because they ain't want to stop smoking cigarettes. They ain't had the willpower. They ain't had the courage. They couldn't see themselves without that cigarette. You feel what I'm saying? So, with you niggas that got problems with being your meat, because nigga, I got a, because nigga, I, I'm going to admit, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real with y'all, nigga. I, I've been having a problem with being my meat ever since I was a fucking kid, nigga, since I was a, since I was 12, nigga, I don't even remember, bro. But it's between 12 and motherfucking 14. You feel what I'm saying? I've been having a problem with this shit since I was a young, young kid. And what drove me to it is depression. You know what I'm saying? A lot of anxiety. I went through as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Porn always got rid of that shit when I was a kid. But the, but the older as I get, I started realizing, like, damn, porn is really the problem. You feel what I'm saying? That shit really, that shit really killing motherfuckers out here, bro. This shit really making niggas weak as fuck out here. Especially men, you feel what I'm saying? It is, and it is females that got the same problem. But not as much as men, though, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm just letting y'all know, bro. <clears throat> if you a female or a nigga with this problem, bro, stop watching that shit. Now, if I can remember, bro, if I can remember, it, I'm trying to think, because uh, it was something that I, because uh, my longest streaks, I always remember, like, I always ask myself, like, damn, what the fuck did I do to, to keep my streak going the last time I had a long streak? Nigga, if y'all got a friend or if y'all got anybody around you that like to do shit during, like, they, like it's, all about what it's all about what you be doing throughout the day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you wake up in the morning and you, you go straight to your routine, boom, you can focus on that shit. And do, if, if you keep doing that shit every day and, keep, and just focus on it and just chill and focus on yourself, you won't think about being your meat. You feel what I'm saying? <coughs> so, for instance, so for instance, if, if it's anything else that you like to do outside of being your meat, keep doing that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Do that shit every fucking day. Like me, I like to smoke. I like to smoke weed sometimes, and I like to smoke my blue lotus flower with my weed. Sometimes, sometimes I can be smoking that shit. And that shit be having me horny as hell. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I think I need to start smoking. You know what I'm saying? That shit be having me like, damn, why the fuck is my, why the fuck is my dick getting like, you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> like, I'll be like, what? But, but if you smoke, you know what I'm saying? And, and you don't be having that sensation, but you do be having that sensation when you sober, just start smoking more, you know what I'm saying? And smoking keep you away from that shit, just, just keep smoking. But if smoking, uh, but if smoking make you, make it give you that urge you want to do it, just stop smoking or just slow down from smoking it. Cause nigga, I, I slow I'm slowing down from smoking. You know what I'm saying? I'm sober right now. I don't even smoke like that. I'll probably smoke a blunt one day. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that shit be having a nigga horny as hell. I ain't gonna lie. That weed and that blue lotus flower together, that shit be having, that shit be having a nigga horny as hell. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. <clears throat> but, fuck. <laughs> but but the positive side, but the positive the positive side about it is, smoking blue lotus flower with your weed, it get rid of anxiety, it fights depression. You know what I'm saying? What else? My fault, y'all. Hold on. It get rid of anxiety, it fights depression. Plus, plus it helps it helps your mental strength. So. So if you're a person that they, they don't know how to speak up, or you kind of shy, or you kind of timid, you know what I'm saying? You can't speak, you can't really speak up. If you smoke that blue lotus flower with that weed every day, that shit gonna make your mental power raise stronger. You gonna you gonna be talking to people like it's nothing. You gonna be talking to people regularly like it's nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Cause that cause that anxiety getting pushed off of your back, bro. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and, and nigga, if you got it, if, if you dealing with anxiety, nigga, I, I completely understand you. But nigga, you y'all have to overcome that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because you, you can't go nowhere in life with anxiety and scared to talk to people, bro. Y'all have to realize, like, bro, y'all have to really realize, like, every human being on this earth, nigga, it's just us in this motherfucker. Everybody that you look at, everything that you see is just you. You feel what I'm saying? So why would the fuck you be having anxiety just to talk to somebody? If if you if you spiritually aware that everything around you is just you, you feel what I'm saying? Like that's how that's how I got rid of my anxiety, you know what I'm saying? When I took shrooms, when I started smoking weed, with blue lotus flower, I started realizing like, damn, well, why why niggas really be scared <laughs> to talk to people? You know what I'm saying? Y'all have to realize like, everybody is you. Everybody have two arms, two legs. Everybody shit and pee just like you do. So once you realize that, your anxiety gone completely. You feel what I'm saying? You don't even have anxiety no more. If you like, nigga, y'all have to, nigga, I, I probably just got rid of anxiety from niggas that's watching the video right now, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all have to realize, like, everybody is you. We have two eyes, we have a head, we have ears. No matter how different we look when it comes to the ego, nigga, we got two arms and two legs. You know what I'm saying? And we talk and we live lives. Just, we, nigga, we all need money to live. You know what I'm saying? So once you realize that, bro, your anxiety gone. You feel what I'm saying? I hope that shit help y'all out, bro. That's basically what I've been going through these past ever since I stopped posting on here or barely been on here. Uh, I just want to give y'all a quick update. I'm not going to be on social media. I'm not going to be on social media. So don't hit me up on social media. I'm not going to be on social media. Just hit me up on YouTube on the comments or something. And I, I'll probably give you my phone number or something if you want to talk. But I'm not going to be on social media. I'm finna be getting to my I'm finna be getting to my bag. I'm finna be getting to my money while I'm off this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna get my life together while I'm off this shit. I'm finna re I'm finna retract, reprogram my mind while I'm off this shit. I'm finna make some moves, learn some shit, sit back and listen while I'm on the while I'm off this shit. You feel what I'm saying? While at the same time, I'm I'm, I'm showing y'all love at the same time on YouTube. But Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, fuck that, fuck them, fuck them apps, bro. I'm not, I'm not finna get on them apps, bro. So don't hit me up on that shit. You know what I'm saying? If y'all see me, if y'all see me on social media, naked, you know what I'm saying, with some modern nigga, I'm a model. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I do. I do adult content. You know what I'm saying? I get naked. I show my body. Take pictures. And that's all I do. I don't fuck nobody, nigga. I don't fuck no strangers or shit. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm celibate. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I don't fuck random people for money. None of that shit, nigga. I just get naked, do a little poses, nigga, and get my money, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So if y'all see me on the internet 
or if somebody on the internet trying to expose me, nigga, ain't shit to expose because nigga I already told everybody, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So if you think you doing something, nigga, you better think twice, nigga, because nigga, I don't give a fuck. It's nobody business. So why would anybody care? You feel what I'm saying? If you were trying to expose somebody, nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Expose me. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Nigga, I, 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 I accept my flaws, nigga. No matter what it is, fuck it. <laughs> nah, nigga, I'm, I'm already keeping it real with y'all, niggas. And like, nigga, like, nigga, I ain't even to be on this shit, bro. But yeah, bro, this Indigo Renacito, bro. This has been a long video. This Indigo Renacito, bro. I think that's all I had to tell y'all, bro. If y'all, if y'all want, any, if y'all want any other videos, bro, just let me know, and I, and I, and I try to get to them as soon as possible. You feel me? But it's just me, myself, and I at the end of the day. And once y'all see me, and y'all, and once y'all see Indigo Renacito on the top, bro, just know, bro. Just know right now, I don't have friends, bro. I don't have friends. Nobody really fuck with me. Nobody really was, nobody really had be having my, my best interest except for my mom. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to my mom. She be she the only woman that believe in me. She the only one. And my dad too. My dad, shout out to my dad too. He, he in Cuba right now. Shout out to my parents. You know what I'm saying? They, gonna, they, they the only ones that believe in me. They the only ones that see potential in me. They the only ones that can see the beast that I, that I, that I will become in the future. You feel what I'm saying? And, and everybody else that didn't see my best interest in him, you know, anybody else that just always looked down on me ever since I came into this earth, bro. Y'all gonna feel it, you feel what I'm saying? Because, because this ain't nothing but a straight positive vibe, straight wealth, straight generational wealth, straight, you know what I'm saying, prosperity, everything. We finna be attracting that shit all 2021 and all 2022 and beyond, you feel what I'm saying? So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, bro. If y'all know anybody that is serving shrooms in the in the Tennessee, Memphis area, South Memphis, put it in my cut. Let me know in the comments, and, I, and uh, we can go from there. But make sure y'all like this video, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Share this video to anybody that's going through anything. Maybe this video can help them out. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, the next time I make a video, I will. Y'all will see me probably in another place y'all will see me with a lot of wealth y'all will probably see me with some with some dope ass rich ass niggas you feel what i'm saying because nigga this is what i'm manifesting bro i'm manifesting a wealthy rich lifestyle that i always wanted since i was a kid bro and i can prove it to y'all and i can prove to y'all any day like nigga ever since i was a kid i always liked it looking at bentley's or looking at big ass houses i always been into that shit since i was a kid but nigga, we never got a chance to live in that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? We always lived in houses that was too big. You know what I'm saying? Just, a, just a, but nigga, I, my goal is nigga to get in a big ass mansion, <coughs> have some fly ass muscle cars. Like nigga, that's my dream. Owning my business, nigga. Being a boss, nigga, running shit. You know what I'm saying? Running this money up, nigga. That's that's my that's my dream. That's my goal. That's will that will happen. <sighs> nigga being a B set senior attention. Nigga, I don't even think about having sex. Like, like nigga, I don't even care about sex. Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Nigga, what? I don't even give a fuck about sex, nigga. I don't give a fuck about busting up. Nigga, let's get to this money, nigga. Let's get to this money, nigga. Let's get to this money, nigga. Let's get to this money.